Natalie I'm Natalie Sather here at Cottage Grove Speedway with tonight's. What is so funny? You Me? Loser. <laughs> what did you do? Yeah. God. <laughs> anyway, okay, redo. No, no Take two. <laughs> I'm Natalie and Sather. Ready. I'm Natalie Sather here at Cottage Grove Speedway with tonight's A Main and always a happy A Main feature winner, Tim Kading. Well, congratulations on your second win here, <laughs> but your ninth or your first World of Outlaw win and your ninth overall win of the season. Yeah, it's uh, it's awesome, you know, to uh, to win nine Outlaw races in one year and not be a full time member is, uh, I think, a feat within anybody's book. You know, to to be able to beat these guys is awesome. You know, Dennis Teresa Roth give me uh, some of the greatest equipment that I can go out and race with. Um, you know, we go out, get to go have fun. You know, I got I got to thank my crew. You know, they they've done a lot this week so far it's still a long week ahead of us but uh you know they they get up work on this thing get her ready to rock and roll and uh we get ourselves in contention you know put ourselves in the right spot and you know we had a a few mishaps there uh earlier in the year and um you know we've we've gotten out of that hole and and trying to have fun now just keep a smile on our face uh all our crowds fa you know fans we're getting closer to home hopefully we can keep this mom uh, momentum going back towards uh, california definitely you and uh, you took the lead from dare early on in lap traffic and the track started taking rubber. As a driver, usually when it's rubber, it's follow the leader. Is that more comforting to you, or does more run through your mind that you have to save your tire to the end of the race, especially it being 40 laps? You know, I, I think uh, being 40 laps and it rubbering down as early as it did the main event, uh, you know, I, I think it was detrimental that you didn't burn the tire off, you know, and smoke the tire, haze it coming off the corner. Um, you know, just keep it underneath you, drive it straight, not, not scrub off as much uh, rubber as you needed to. You know, I mean, our right rear is pretty bald. Uh, Kyle probably had about two or three more laps um, in his right rear tire than we did, but uh, I just wanted to get that little bit of spacing where I, I had you know time to to move around if I needed to get through lap cars, and um, you know it, it's. It, it's all teamwork in this deal. Um, you know, I, I get all the glory, but you know what? My crew guys, Dennis, Teresa Roth, they, they're the ones that deserve every bit of credit. You know, um, sponsors, everybody that help out this 83 car, 3H cattle, Kent chassis, uh, FK shocks, um, Speedway engines, you know, the Hoosier tires, uh, showing that it's, uh, it's capable of running and making 40 laps now. So, um, you know, just to, to get through this, this next four or five days is going to be, I think key of, uh, you know, depending on what we get to do the rest of this year. Well, always a very, very humble winner, Tim Kading, and second win in a row here in Oregon. Congratulations, TK. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with tonight's second place finisher, Kyle Larson. Well, congratulations. Two California natives mixing it up in the front two tonight, you and TK. Yeah, I've ran second to TK too many times, but, uh, you know, he fell back to fourth there and then uh, had a really good restart and got to second. And from there, just took rubber and it was going to be hard to pass and was hoping I could just have enough tire to to make it longer than Tim, but um, ended up second, not too bad. I, I feel like I haven't been very good the last couple nights, so uh, this is probably help our momentum a little bit going into Chico on Saturday. So, you know, hope we can try and get a three-peat there and then um, you know, back it up with a win at Antioch maybe. Right at the end, you were gaining on TK in lap traffic. Do you think if you had a few more laps, you would have, you know, up there and challenged him a little bit more for the win? I don't know. It's hard to say. He was uh, pretty committed to, to the line. Um, he got, in, you know, the rubber started up top and then got lower and lower, but um, you know, I thought I thought we could still be able to run up there, and uh, just got too dirty, I think, up there, and um, just couldn't just couldn't carry my speed up top uh, to even try and make a move. So um, just had to follow him, and hopefully he'd blow right rear. But he was able to make it, and um, he got second. So not too bad. One last question: On those yellows, you're swerving your car back and forth. Is that something you've carried over from pavement to keep your tire heating your tires, or what was going on? I don't know. It was, you know, a little bit to help keep heating it, and then also just to, uh, you know, keep it roughed up a little bit. I, you know, feel like that would probably help me. But uh, I don't know if it helps or not. But um, you know, if it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. <laughs> well, it seemed to help tonight. Congratulations, Kyle, in second. Thank you. I'm here with tonight's third place finisher, Darren Pittman. <laughs> Congratulations on third place tonight. You started sixth. The track started rubbering. About halfway through the race, you made your way up, and then it was kind of follow the leaders from then on. Yeah, I think it started rubber a little bit earlier than that. Uh, we were a little free. Uh, I was better than I have been the last several races, but uh, uh, I was actually pretty happy to see the rubber starts come in because we were a little loose. And uh, uh, I got one really good restart there and went from sixth to third. And uh, then once I got a single file in the rubber, you know, it was pretty hard to pass after that. So 
Uh, good run for us. Uh, we're definitely making headway. Uh, we're definitely kind of heading down a new path that uh, we haven't been all year and, and uh, trying to get good enough to win races again. And, and uh, we haven't been bad, but just not good enough to win. So uh, just Kale, Michael, and, and uh, Colton, they do a great job. And uh, just uh, don't give up. No matter, uh, you know, whatever our last race was, they are able to put it behind them, come back out and try hard. And, and uh, it was a good night tonight. So uh, we'll still make some changes, try to come back and, and, and get good enough to win a race. But uh, we're definitely going the right way. You know, I watch on Twitter a little bit, and I see your crew guys, how encouraging they are to you as a driver. How does that feel as a driver to have such an encouraging team behind you? Well, this is a, this is a pretty uh, brutal sport mentally, you know, and, and it can be tough. And, it's a, you know, especially this time of year, it's pretty grinding. So uh, when, I, when I have a bad night, you know, I'm pretty hard on myself. And, and uh, it's always good to just know that uh, uh, no matter how mad they are at the end of the night on, on our results, that, uh, you know, they've still got your back and know that, uh, uh, we can get the job done the next night, no matter how, no matter what happens the night before. So it's always good to know that uh, your guys are behind you, and they have been 100% all year. So uh, it's been a lot of fun uh, working with these guys. They're, they're some of the best, I think, in the business out here, and uh, just really lucky to be part of this such a good team. Definitely. Well, congratulations tonight's third-place finisher, Darren Pittman.